Hello everyone, you are welcome to this YouTube channel. Now my name is Ebenezer Amato NP and today I come your way to continue the Photoshop tutorial that we are trying to embark on. Um, earlier on what we did was to give you some brief intro about this design and myself as well. And I actually instructed those who watched that video, um, it is in the description so you can check it out. Um, they were informed of um, getting to install the Photoshop. Um, actually, the version I'm using is the Photoshop 2021. That's the version I'm using. But if you are someone who is using the 2019, 2020, 2021, um, most of the features are, I mean, close. Then if you are someone who actually um, using the Photoshop 2018, 2017, downwards to the CSS, um, you can also join us. But there are some small things that I wouldn't do it. Yes, because with the new features, we just do it like, like that. For example, if you want to remove a background, when, with the new features in the 2019, 2020, 2021, it's very simple. <laughs> I wouldn't go back to using the pen to, to actually cut out the shape and I wouldn't be doing those things. So those are one or two things that um, actually we, we have to know. So today, actually, I'm going to take us through the interface of the Photoshop software. Actually, I made you watch a video that talked about the interface. That was 2020 version. <coughs> so, because this is a new course, um, you have to go through it as well. Now, I'm trying my best to make sure that this course wouldn't be that long. But at, at most, if I get a record after 30 minutes, <laughs> that one should be enough. I'm doing my best not to make the tutorials that long. So, please, um, get seated and let's get into the video if you are new here please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also if you have someone who want to learn this for the shop um, you can actually share the video to the person so that that person can also take part in this tutorial actually it is free yes um, i don't know when if i'm done with this course i'll organize another course of photoshop again um so please take advantage of it and let's go now this tutorial is going to be there till till what i mean is that after we are done with the basics the rest is going to be design is a whole lot of stuff that we are going to do so that will keep you working and stuff so let's get into the video now i'll be explaining some things to you so we go to the screen then we come in here and talk to you so let's get into the video all right so this is for the let, let me actually i've opened it already so let me close it and start it again so this is my photoshop now if, if, if you want to launch your photoshop it is two things that you can do okay um let it is even three um you can let the app be or the software be on your screen or oh, you can that is your desktop or you can pin it <coughs> on the tax bar or you can go to your apps and actually search for it so for example you can click on the start button then um you search for so i have adobe illustrator have adobe audition i have <coughs> adobe photoshop and adobe premiere pro so i can just click when you double click on it it will open okay so when you do that it will open for you to use it the next thing that you can do is i have to make sure that you can pin you, you pin it okay you pin it on your dashboard here this is what i'm talking about this all these have been pinned on the tags bar so if you've not done that it is very very simple to do that okay very very simple so what you do is that um <coughs> you right click okay when you right click on it, then you see paint to start um, more on it. So if you go to more, because it's already paint to the tags bar, that is why they said on paint. So let me click on, on paint. Realize that it, will be, it is off. 
So when I right click on it again and I come to more, then I click on page tags bar, it appears in here. So that is how we do it. So I'm going to launch my straight up from the tags bar. And what you see that when you check my tags bar, that's what I can. So let's open the Photoshop software. <coughs> And also, you have to make sure that, um, especially if you are someone that um, your RAM is that small, you have to make sure that um, most of your apps are closed so that Photoshop can get enough space to work out. Okay. And also, your hard disk there should be some space. For example, um, when you come to my machine right now, I have one nine six gigabyte free and. 165 free, so it is a bit cool. <coughs> this one terabyte, thing, but look at the space I have. It. So that is that. Okay, <coughs> now I've actually done some works already. That is why you see the interface to be like this. Yes, because I've worked on some projects before. That is why you see the interface like this. But there is something I can do to just clear everything. Okay, so everything has been cleared. So it is assumed to Photoshop that I have actually done nothing on the software. So hope you are seeing everything in there. So you can clear everything that you've done on the dashboard. I did this to actually make sure that the software looks like a new app that you are now going to use so that you can follow and actually follow things clearly yes so when you get a photoshop okay what you are seeing is actually the dashboard the photoshop dashboard and that is what you are seeing so this is i mean the home page of the photoshop software that is why you put in there is the home page when you launch it to you, that is the home page. Now, we have the menu bar in here. That gives you a lot of menus. So, the menus we have on Photoshop, actually, is we have the, the file menu, edit, image, layer, type, select, filter, 3D, view, window and help so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we have eleven menus in the photoshop i mean software okay seven menus that gives you a lot of options to use this app okay now um when you go to the file we have a lot of options that helps you to do with the files that you are working on okay and everything that you are seeing in there it has a role to play in the photoshop app you are using so you make sure that you don't just use them anyhow no they all have a role that they are playing in the app you are using so you have to make sure that um you don't just do anything just anyhow when it comes to edit to the same thing, now you realize that a lot of them are, should I say, pale. Yes, you can't see them that clear. Why? This is because nothing has been selected to be edited. That is why you are seeing them like this. When you click on image, the same thing. Layer, the same thing. Type, the same thing. Select, same thing. Filter same thing 3d same thing almost everything is on why because we are actually not doing anything We're doing nothing that is why you are seeing things like that so let's get started now after knowing the menu bar okay there is these two things you have to know you have the create new and you have the open open allows you to actually open a project that you have actually started working on already so for example let me work on the open view. so when i click on open there are two ways to do this you can come to the file then go to open then you search you search for a photoshop i mean 
preset you have then you just load it or you can click here open get it direct or you can click on control plus o then it, it will send you there now to remind you i wouldn't be writing that much of the shortcuts in the video but i'll keep saying it so please when i talk about any shortcut make sure you put them down because um after doing most of this thing and um, when i say it once i wouldn't go back most of them is going to be shortcut especially when we start with the main ways most of them i'm going to use shortcuts to do them so when i tell you that the shortcut for there is control plus t please make sure that you follow okay and put it down shortcut actually allows you to work i mean very fast and efficiently yes but normally the 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 bad side about shortcut is that when you are teaching someone okay um sometimes find it because there's one particular um thing i know when you want to edit an image there's a shortcut that you, you you have to use i know the shortcut but actually i don't know i mean the exact place to fish that thing out so please the shortcuts are good but make sure you get a theory as i'm going to teach you now <coughs> so we click on open then select let's say this one so just click on open so it will load the photoshop work you were doing for you then you start doing what you want so for example now this is the image like that when i click on image all these things are active now i can work on it layer see there's a layer selected so I have, I'm, I'm seeing a whole lot of things in here the same thing applies to the select tool is in there come to edit you see that now everything is being shifted so that is that now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to when you're creating a new file to okay let's go to that one so let me close this and let me clear everything so come to open this and then go to clear this now when i want to create um and sorry there is i already go to that one for now so let, let's continue so you get there when it's time when you go to create new so this is the dialog box that pops up for you to create a new i mean project okay now the difference between the project okay and the let's say the jpeg file is that with the project it has everything that made the design possible in the so the lines the colors the images everything you use is in there and you can change edit them add and remove and that is the project but when you save it as a jpeg png whatever and that is why there's a problem the reason is that when you do it that way you can't edit it when you edit it um, it's going to be some way but normally it is good to get the original i mean copy and make changes to it than to just actually get just anything and work with it okay so let's get into the video once again so now when this pops out okay we have the new document you are going to create or the new project so we have the these are recent projects um come to the save this one is i'll teach us that too maybe today but no, i'm not sure that would be for this week so you can save some of the presets okay some dimensions you normally use in your work you can save them so that when you just click on it boom you start doing what you want to do then you have the photo what is the size you make you have the point if you are going to print it you have the a4 the a5 the a3 the b5 the b5 photo art illustrations web mobile film and so it all depends on the projects you are going to work on what you are going to do the design for that is why all these are in there so if you want to actually create your own preset 
and that is when you will come to the precept details. So, what is the name you want to give to what you are doing? So, I want to name it Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop to Tutorial 2021. Then we come to the dimension. Actually, I have a video. I didn't use Photoshop to teach it, but it is the same concept. I have a video that I've explained these dimensions to you. The difference between this dimension and the aspect ratios. We did that. So I will leave that video in the comment section. Please. Make sure what those who actually joined the puzzle lab class um for them i'm sure they, they, they had they have been doing but if you are new to my videos then make sure that you check it out and get explanation so i'll skip this part and proceed so this is actually the puzzle the inches the centimeters and the point of height okay then we have the width and the height so i'll say that the width i can replace by the length the horizontal length the height is the vertical length of it okay, so this is a square stuff that we are working on okay so if we want to create a square project around 2020 but when when the 2020 eh, probably you are going to see 2020 okay that is something you should be I mean, you're ready to know this and you see when you pick 2020 so let's look at something great you see a box why well, going this a box there's a box that i chose probably that is what i'm going to see Good. so you get the dimension you want to use now we have the A4, the A5, the A6, the B. So the Z dimension one you use, you have to make sure that you check it out and work on it. So for example, when you come here, you have A4. When you click on A4, you see that the dimension is 22,010 by 297. It is in millimeters. If you want to work in pixels, just click on pixels and you see that dimensions in pixels. That's very, very simple. Okay, that's very very simple. So if you want to work in A4, <coughs> don't worry yourself checking for the A4 dimension. Just come to print, select A4 and work, A6 and work, A3 and work, A5 and work. If you want to work on an Instagram, okay, um, that's the Insta square. Then, well, you, you can actually just use the normal one that is 2000 by 2000 which is this one two sorry 2000 by 2000 just that one will be very good then we come to the orientation do you want it to be landscape or portrait i think i've done a video on this one as well now when we say a video or an image is in the portrait view for example, when I do this phone like this, okay, mm -hmm. like this, like, let's say I'm shooting a video, so let me check something, so you appreciate what I'm talking about. Yeah. So now, I'm shooting what I'm doing here right now, okay, what I'm doing, I'm shooting in portrait mode, okay. If I want to do it in landscape, I have to do the phone like this. Okay, so that's the difference between portrait and, and landscape. Okay, that is different between portrait and landscape. That's the difference. So when the image is in this form, okay, when it's in this form like this, it is what in the landscape mode. When we make it like this. When do it like this, it is in the portrait. This is portrait, and this is the landscape mode. I hope this one is very clear, very simple. I have a video. I will link that video also in the description so that you can check that video as well out. Now, 
So you check that one out. Then we call something art boards. Actually, I wouldn't go that go with that. Art board allows you to have multiple pages or documents in one project. Example, let me just show you something. You see they've written art board one. So when you come here, you have the art board one. So we can have another art board. So art board two, art board three, like that. Okay. So now with this one, I can work on this alone at a time. So let's see. I just draw something. Okay. And then come to this art board. Now look at something. This ad board, I cannot look at something. You see, it will still come in the ad board one. When I do it here, and so I just come in here, draw something, and that thing actually comes in there. Okay, so that is how the ad boards actually work. And it's not that needed for now. Normally, we normally use the ad board when you are working on let's say you ux like you want to design their websites they need you to do those kind of designs for them how it should appear on the apps and stuff that one you see you get the ad boards and you work on them together so you just so that you can reference to one thing i mean at the same time it's not like you do this separate you open this one you open, no so at the ad board we make sure that you have everything on in one project but you are working on them differently and when you're exporting them to, you can ask, export them one after the other. Okay, so that is the ad board. Now, still on the on that side. So you have to make sure it is unchecked. Then you come to the resolution. The resolution actually talks about the quality of the image. The quality of the image. Yes. So this one, the standard one that designers have been using is Oh sure. The the standard one we've been using actually is 300 resolution. That's 300 pixels. That is what we've been using more often. Pixel per centimeter. Yes, that is what we've been using. Then we come to the color mode. We have the RGB color. We have the CMYK. The lab and the grayscale. I don't see most designers using that, but normally it is the RGB and the CMYK that don't like people using. And normally the CMYK colors are meant for print and the RGB are meant for screens. So you realize that when you save one file, one in RGB and one in um, CMYK, when you print the RGB, it becomes more brighter than it's expected. Yes. And, when, and the same applies to CMYK when you view it on the phone, it is more brighter than when you print it. So it's like there is a swap. So CMYK colors are meant for screens. And sorry, are meant for print. And RGB is meant for screen. RGB is meant for screens, virtual use. <coughs> and the CMYK is meant for prints or printing. I hope that is clear. Okay. So you, you, you choose your RGB, depending on the work you are doing. Now the background content, you can keep the white, you can choose black. That one will depend on you. But what, what we are actually talking of is not anything kitty kitty. And you get to the let me choose blue. Let me choose blue. So when I click on it, actually the background is going to be blue. So that is all it is about. And by default on Photoshop, it is actually white. Yes, by before it is white, so you can maintain that and the bit to you maintain the age. But if your machine is that fast, you can use the 16 bits to split things up. Yes, but I have to maintain the age. You click on it, so we are done. You title your preset to finish up. Twenty, twenty, twenty-one. 
and click on enter so we've gotten our project we've gotten our project so initially that is all we have to know about the home page of Photoshop and the interface up to when you create a new project now the next week we are going to continue from this side we are going to talk to you about the various tools in here and I want to talk to you about all of them but I'll make sure I talk to the relevant ones that we are using more often okay because there are some of them we are going to use them more often I'll spend more time talking to you about those ones yes and also next week we are going to actually deal with some one or two things as the photoshop is actually concerned if you have any question about what we just taught you today make sure that you let me know in the comment section or you come to whatsapp and make sure that you tell us um, what you couldn't understand if you have any contributions to the tutorials you can let me know as i said earlier if you are new to this platform make sure that you subscribe to the channel this is a free tutorial that i'm doing okay it is free totally free and make sure that you watch the videos okay don't download them it is not a good thing to do and myself I, I, i'm not pleased with that the videos we do we invest a lot of i mean things in it so if we do the video for you and you just download it and you watch it offline there is no benefit out of it in the long run because you are using data to upload the video um, you are spending time to create the video the cameras the lightings everything you use you buy all of them with money the only way your viewers or your audience are to appreciate what you are doing is to stay online use their data to watch the videos you are doing so that you too can increase in views watch time and when you get monetized you can also get some money to help improve on what you are doing so please we will encourage you to make sure that you watch the videos online and when someone to want to join just give them the links and let the person also come and watch it that is the only way you can let's say pay me on what i'm doing initially people wanted some people were actually asking for on demand one-on-one -on -one tutorial <coughs> but i thought it wise that when i do it for free that is good because if i am to do it one-on-one -on -one, i wouldn't get the time to do it yes i wouldn't get the time but making it general for everyone to have access to it is actually the best thing I could think of. So there is an opportunity. Um, take, I mean, how do I even call it? Um, make sure that you take it serious. Yes, take it serious. And if you don't understand anything, you let me know. Okay, if you are not on the WhatsApp platform and you want to be added, check the video description. I have my contact in there. You can contact us. We will add you to the WhatsApp platform. And until that, let's meet again next week. Goodbye. And wait, and this video actually is being sponsored by Eucentric Media. So we are into media works, like so videography, video editing, graphic design. You can bring your work to us and we will work on it professionally for you. And their prices are very affordable. They are actually sponsoring this Photoshop course I'm having with you. Thank you and see you in my next video. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.